I finally finished building the water pump house and I can begin to work inside the house. The kitchen is a complete building site. There are holes everywhere in the walls, the floor, the ceiling. <laughs> I have mice running around and they were kind of cute until I found them crawling up the curtains <laughs> one night and I decided to get a trap and I liberated about seven of them. <laughs> hey. <gasps> so when it came to building, I decided that my first priority was to try and close most of the holes first.
So as you can see, the ceiling is finally in and I am so excited. The timber I use is actually for a sauna, but it was the closest size to the original. It's not the same, but I don't care. I'll have to sand the original one and then paint everything white at some point. <laughs> but I'm so happy that that's done. Now the next step is to do the floor and I'm actually a little bit worried about this because I need to take about half of the original flooring off because it was rotting due to the leak that was in the roof. So I'm a little bit worried about what I'm going to find and I have to go into the crawling space which just freaks me out a little bit. But first I have to clean up the mess in here because it's it's something. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. <laughs> I now have to take out this part of the floor because it's rotten, there's a hole in here and I'm going to replace it. The floor joists underneath are also partly rotten so hopefully it's not too much and I can just fix this bit because that's all I have materials for. If it's worse than I think it is then I have a problem and also the crawl space underneath is really dodgy. All of the insulation that was there has fallen down and so there isn't really anything left and it's just a little bit creepy. <laughs> This process turned out to be really tough. I struggled a lot. It was winter, it was cold, the kitchen was freezing. I really wanted to make a home for myself, be warm and comfortable, make things livable. But instead, I found myself in that crawling space, tearing out rotten wood. Instead of building a house, I was tearing it apart. And that was definitely not the job that I wanted to do.
remember when I said that if there was a lot more rotten parts to this, then that would be an issue. Well, that's where we're at. It's all, it's all rotten. <laughs> These two joists from start to finish are done. I might have just about enough wood to actually replace these two and when it comes to putting in a stock flooring I was going to get creative anyways but I'm just going to have to get a little bit more creative and it might be a couple of different types of um, floor build-ups <laughs> in this little room just to uh, make sure that I can actually do it with the materials that I have because I'm not able to order any more because of the very high delivery fees. Luckily I have all the time in the world I have to remind myself that even though I want this to be finished now, I have time, it's okay, I can do this. <laughs> there is so much that I didn't film during that time and I didn't vocalise it because it was extremely stressful and very overwhelming. It certainly made me rethink of a lot of the details I wanted to implement into the house build and decide to make things a little bit more simple. <laughs> I had just about enough timber to replace the two rotten joists. One of them was actually just about not long enough. It was about 10 20 centimeters short and I had to sister it at the end. It did make it a lot more stable. During this time, I really had to remind myself that I'd taken up this renovation project not to get to the end result as quick as possible, but I actually just really wanted to go through the stages of doing this build and learning from it and experiencing everything.
but I have to say it was really difficult to stay motivated to put on all of my warm layers in the morning and go back into that cold kitchen to work but even though I struggled so much and I felt very uncomfortable all of my problems were very tangible they were all things that I could ultimately solve again and I have to say that's one of the reasons why I came out here to live a real life see things for what they are be flexible and just take things step by step